Cool, so we looked at a funk expression, and now we are going to look at returning a funk. If you want to take the whole course, right there, baby. Right there. Doom, 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 doom. And this is returning a funk. So do you want this to be a hands-on exercise? Raise your hand if you do. Nobody, okay. So I'm gonna return a funk. I just have to start singing up town. Sorry. We've got a bunch of, this is our anonymous funk, or our, our funk expression from before. So we learned that the type of this was funk string, right? So let's make that funk string. So we now have foo, which takes in a string and returns a funk string. Let's bring this down here and put it here. So it's now returning a funk string. Okay. And we could say that that, that is returning a funk string that takes in a string. I don't know if we need this anymore. Let's not do it. So let's clean up all this. Cool. We call foo. And then we're going to print f percent t backslash tab percent t backslash new line. We'll see the types. And we'll see what we got. So we call foo. When foo runs, what's the value that's going to be returned? Of what type is it? It's going to return a value of type funk string. Right? Because this is what's being returned. We already saw the value of that. Okay, that was what X and Y were. So if X and Y are funk string, how do we run this funk? If this was just sitting here like this, an anonymous funk, you run it like that, right? And you pass in a string. Correct? Well, that's what got returned. Look at what's returned, people. And by the way, this is the return right there. So don't trip out funk foo, funk string. You know this is the return. It's funk, receiver, there is no receiver between those two. Identifier, parameters, return, code. What's being returned is a value of a type. Functions are first class citizens. They're typed just like any other type. First class citizens used to trip me out when I'd hear that phrase because I didn't know what it meant. So how do I what do I do with X and Y? How do I use them? What is X? It's a function that takes in a string. What is y? It's a function that takes in a string.
Okay, all we did was assign a function to a variable like we did in the previous one, the func expression. But this time we did it by returning the function. How many people got it? How many people don't got it? It's all right. You're being exposed. The language will sink in over time. 